this is a wow factor view. Look at this behind me. Hi guys and welcome to this episode on the Cairngorms. I will be photographing mountain scenery and back down below here some plenty of lochs and some nice old age architecture. So starting off the show welcome to the Cairngorm mountains. I'm in the northern Corries at the minute on the Fiercle Ridge. Fiercle meaning Scottish Gaelic toothed ridge and uh, the Cairn Gorms, Cairn Gorms, Gaelic is Cairn, round hill, Gorms meaning a bluey, greeny colour. So there you go, there's a bit of Gaelic for you. So welcome back to all the subscribers and if you're new to the channel, hit that like, subscribe for more mountain scenery. But fantastic Cairn Gorms. So let's get on with the show, make my way up the Fiercle Ridge behind me and uh, I'll set up my camera, hopefully, for a nice sunset scene. See you up the top.
Hi guys, so welcome back. I'm right where I want to be now. I'm at a place called uh, Fingers Ridge. You see the fingers just behind me up here. And what I plan to do is get a nice wide angle shot. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this sky turns a bit of a sunset picture. But I can't really see that happening. But tomorrow morning is supposed to be absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to push down behind me to the gully looking down on Loch Avon which is a nice little waterfall down there as well I'm hoping there's gonna be plenty of water anyway that's for sure but yeah let's get my camera set up tripod on a go uh, frame this picture so I've got the, the actual fingers ridge behind me and uh, the vehicle ridge and hopefully that sky will turn sweet so see you in a minute So this is uh, what happens sometimes on uh, landscape photography. Just had a cloud uh, completely smother me or shroud me anyway, but it's starting to clear now. So, but what do you do? You have a cup of tea while you're waiting, don't you? But yeah, just got a nice panoramic shot of all of this from the vehicle ridge over there, all the way down to Fingers Ridge absolutely fantastic hopefully it's gonna turn a nice color or completely smother me in a shroud or I might get a cloud inversion later on let's see what happens but yeah I'm just shooting soft grad on just to darken that sky a touch uh, f11 ISO 100 and at 100 of a second so yeah very cool and uh, awesome scenery so see you soon hi guys and morning and welcome to Luck Var absolutely brilliant conditions this morning on the boathouse itself just behind me here um, at the minute I'm shooting on an F9 ISO 100 and it's given me exactly what is it giving me a quarter of a second I'm actually sh shooting um, from inside the forest here so I have got a graduated filter on circular polarizer uh, a graduated filter I'm shooting at uh, a 0.6 just to darken that sky a bit because it is overexposing the sky shooting from a dark area into a light area so absolutely perfect conditions this morning here I'm gonna shoot and just get a little shot down here from the bank as well but if this position here where I'm at um, I'm using a what three words and I will put that in the title here exactly where it, it is and this morning uh, I put it in the sat nav how to get here to Loch Var and it came up um, Loch VAA in the sat nav so it's actually known as Loch Var and uh, the correct pronunciation of these uh, locks that it's known as is loch as I pronounce it in here because I keep getting told off all the time it's not a, a lock uh, you don't get a key with it so my accent it it's, uh, comes up with a lock but it's actually known as lochs so anyway let's get on get some photography done and uh, I'll show you and get the GoPro back on as I'm talking to you setting up and showing you how I'm taking my pictures or images around the boathouse at Loch La. So see you in a while. Hi guys so welcome back I have uh, just pushed myself down to uh, the Loch uh, lower level here I get some really nice close-ups of the uh, the boathouse itself I'm uh, shooting them um, an aperture of f7.1 and obviously I'm opening my aperture to round about an f11 just to get the background in focus as well but I'm concentrating on this area here so it gives it that dramatic like wide angled shot of the lock itself but I'm also going to push around get some long exposures 
and you will see all of these images that I do capture on at the end. So I'm going to move on to my next location now and I'll see you there but this is absolutely fantastic and you do have to visit this place Loch Var. It's absolutely beautiful. So what three words on the screen now where I am and I'll see you at the next location. See you soon. Bye for now. Hi guys and welcome to Loch Morlick. Look at this for a lovely, lovely scene. It's absolutely beautiful tonight here at Loch Morlick. No wind, reflections. Um, I'm firing away. I've got a 0.6 uh, reverse hard grad on, circular polarizer, F11, and um, it's just given me a 24 mil, just under a second. So straightforward on my settings there lovely lovely scene tonight i'm heading back up to the mountains tonight uh, to grab a sunrise of where i was the other day of a lovely lovely waterfall i know i can do better than i did so let's get back up there and i'll see you in the morning for a, a lovely lovely sunrise hopefully see you soon morning guys and welcome to the next location so last night uh, didn't work out very well there was no golden hour up on the northern quarries on uh, Fingers Ridge but then an overnight bivvy up on the mountain and I've made my way down to the other side across the plateau uh, down to views for Loch Avon and this is a wow factor view look at this behind me look at that and I'm shooting the waterfall here with views onto Loch Avon. So this location is not advisable. Uh, the route can be treacherous here. And the route, my route this morning, I came down, I don't know if you can just about see the waterfall in the background here. And I came down the cliff uh, to where I am now. I'll put a, a three word uh, three words location to where I am but please do not attempt this if you're not used to mountain landscapes uh, no golden hour this morning a bit too misty and hazy and low-lying cloud but still what a lovely picture and uh, yeah let me show you my composition what I'm set up my camera I've got a, a medium grad filter in for the mist in the dark in that sky a bit just uh, overblown I'm at F11 I'll drop that to around about uh, F9 probably, ISO 80 at uh, 24 mil. That's given me three seconds. I'm going to switch to manual so I can slow that shutter speed right down. Uh, not, uh, uh, sorry, speed it up, sorry, speed it up. So I want a half a second on this. I don't want to be smoothing it out too much. I just want a nice little capture of the motion in the water. So yeah, let's get on with it, get some images done and You'll see my images at the end. What a location. Wow. See you soon. Hi guys and welcome to part two of this glorious waterfall behind me here. It was fantastic. I hope you uh, enjoyed the time lapse there because it showed me getting the picture. This was well worth the uh, overnight stay on the mountain. It, it poured down the rain last night but uh, absolutely fantastic. Look at that starburst coming through in the side of the mountain there glorious glorious waterfall here with uh, views to Loch Haven fantastic I will uh, reiterate this do not attempt to come down here if you're not used to the mountains it is treacherous uh, yeah so don't come down here in your trainers shorts thinking you're gonna get a good picture you probably end up with a broken ankle but uh, enough of that Back to photography 
excellent here. I set up for this one, I was on F16, uh, a hard grad in because that sun was quite powerful this morning. Circular polarizer shooting at half a second and uh, it's turning out really, really nice. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the images at the end and I will uh, see you at next location. See you soon. Hi guys and welcome to this next location. This next location is a bit of a wild card. I know what you're saying, this is not the King Gorms, but that's why it's a wild card location. So I'm at Leonach Cottage on Culloden. Uh, I've had my camera set up and I've got some nice long exposures, which are turning out to be like two minute exposures here. Um, of the cottage itself from the front and the back got some lovely lovely stills uh, lovely color in the sky as well which make makes it uh, a nice picture if you get the chance to visit this location do uh, as for the my images you'll see them blended in at the end in a little montage but yeah fantastic location this and I'll see you at the next location see you soon Hi guys and welcome to the next location. So I'm at Carbridge, the old pack horse bridge. Lovely setting tonight. Lovely, lovely sunset. Really like golden hour. The colour of those clouds are absolutely spectacular. So this image I'm capturing at the minute. I'm on F9. I'm actually having to bracket this shot because it's so, so powerful and it's not bringing the bridge out correct so I'm, I'm actually putting one stop five shots and one stop in between and it's absolutely turning out absolutely beautiful so I'm going to push in the water as well and get multiple shots of this but yeah fantastic so I'm going to put a closure on this episode now and thanks for tuning in guys and you'll see all my images on at the end and uh if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe for uh, more adventures on photography locations, especially in the mountains where I'm off to Torridon probably next. Um, lots of ascent coming up and later on in the year back to Kengorms for some winter fun. So see you soon guys. Thanks again.